What is up, everybody? It is Hobbs Horror back here with you for Tubi Tuesday. Brought to you by Al Lucard, our good friend Al Lucard, who is the king of Tubi Tuesday, by the way. So, uh, I'm going to do this kind of this style here because I'm not really feeling too hot today, but I want to review a movie I've been dying to see from 1988 called Hack a Lantern. Now, Hack a Lantern, again, it's from 1988, is approximately one hour and 27 minutes. Directed by Jack Mangra. Written by David Eisenstark. And Carla Robinson. We have Hi Pike, who plays Grandpa in the film. And Gregory Scott Cummins, who plays... Tommy, who was also in Phantom of the Mall, Eric's Revenge, and a bunch of other movies. About 90 credits to his name. So, hack a lantern, we follow Tommy as he, uh, his grandpa visits him with some pumpkins in the back of a pumpkin, kind of like a hayride type truck where they're delivering pumpkins to him before Halloween or the night of Halloween. And uh, during that process, his mom's there and, and Grandpa visits and for some reason, Tommy's dad just isn't too fond of the Grandpa. You know, it feels like things are kind of awkward. He wants to know kind of what's happening. Why is this, why is Grandpa so weird, you know? Meanwhile, Tommy cuts his finger in a pumpkin and weird things start to happen. And uh, Next up, a dramatic and traumatic experience happens in Tommy's life. We fast forward to about 10 or 15 years later. I don't want to go into it because I don't want to spoil the film as to what happens. And Tommy has now grown up with his siblings, his sister, his brother, his mom. And unfortunately, he has lost his father. But um, basically, it's Halloween time. But Tommy is very secluded. He's very into uh, satanic practices, completely opposite from his brother and sister. And they're trying to figure out how to get him out into the world and get to be able to do stuff, have fun, but he's just not having it. He's just such reclusive and a depressive mind so that he chooses not to. And meanwhile, Grandpa's still around hanging around, and I won't go into details as to why, but uh, he's still around the family and whatnot. And it is Halloween night, and uh, dramatic things start to happen as uh, people start to get picked off. And there's a complete background history as to why people are being picked off on Halloween night. Uh, you'll have to watch the movie to, to find out. I don't want to give away too many details. Uh, but every night on Halloween, in this particular town, things start to happen. There's Satanism involved. And uh, like I said, I don't want to give too much of the story away because it's, it's definitely one that you've got to check out. Uh, if you are a fan of Halloween in general, this movie is a must-watch on Tubi, absolutely free. Uh, what's funny about this movie is this actually just went to court last year on on TV because the uh, Masker Video, who puts out put out this movie, was suing somebody that put this entire movie on YouTube, which is why I'm not actually showing clips either. I don't want to be sued. <laughs> but if you're a fan of just a Halloween uh, feel. There's lots of Halloween. There's Halloween party. Of course, there's Halloween decorations. There's pumpkins. There's costumes. Uh, Halloween music. Uh, if you're like me and you're obsessed with Halloween, this is a must-watch. Uh, there is people being picked off, but I don't want to give away too much plots on the film, as it is a small-town family just trying to get by. Kind of a country setting, but they do celebrate Halloween. The mother... Uh, she's reluctant to have her family go out on Halloween, but again, I don't want to give too many details as there is people being murdered. So anyways, uh, positives to the film, lots of TNA for sure. This is a very schlocky film 
if you like schlock and you like nudity, and I'm talking full Brillo pad, you will get it in this in this film. Uh, like I said, lots of TNA kills were good. Great Halloween atmosphere, some Halloween cheese as well. Um, cheesy clothing, cheesy 80s clothing, pretty much everything that you would want to see in an 80s slasher is in this movie. And uh, just highly recommended. I do want to thank Al for having us do this on 2B Tuesday. And just on a side note, uh, this is for everybody. This isn't just for one person on YouTube to do. Anybody that wants to do 2B Tuesday can do this. It's not secluded to one person. And if for some reason you think that it is, you're sadly mistaken because we should be sharing these together and not complaining about other people doing them because this is a fun thing. To be is fun. This is what the community needs. And this is great. So uh, I do recommend checking out Hack a Lantern on Tubi if you've not already seen it. Like I said, it's a fun watch. Uh, the grandpa is hilarious in this film. He kind of reminds me a bit of of uh, Dusty Rhodes mixed with uh, um, mixed with Jim Varney but the grandpa is in the film as well and he's got a pretty big role but like I said I don't want to spoil the film at all I want you to watch it if you don't watch it now watch it around Halloween time put it in your Halloween playlist it's a must watch alright guys guys this is Hobbs I'll catch up with you later like I said I'm just doing this style of day because I'm not feeling very hot don't really want to film anything, so I thought I'd share this pretty cool little background for you. Catch up with you guys later. Thanks for everybody participating in 2B Tuesday and Alucard. Go check out his channel, and uh, all right, guys, peace.